Hi, in this lesson, we're going to explore how to find the probabilities of uh, particular values of a normal distribution when it's not a certain number of standard deviations away from the mean. Um, and it's fully technology based, um, this particular thing. So uh, in this video, we'll have a look at a, a standard normal random variable. And um, in a subsequent series of videos, we'll have a look at more complicated problems as we go along. But you can see here that I'm going to use questions from the textbook just to make it pretty straightforward. And we can check the answers as we go along. So you can see I'm starting off with question one here. And um, I've got question one drawn out with uh, Z because it's a standard normal distribution. So Z being distributed normally with a mean of zero and a variance of one or a standard deviation of one as well, of course, because one squared is equal to one. And the first question says, what is the probability that Z is less than two? Um, so that would mean if I was drawing the picture, I would be going, here's my normal distribution. Here is my mean mu, which is equal to zero in a standard normal uh, distribution. And here is the value two, like so. And so what we're looking for when we're determining a probability is the area under the curve up to point two. Okay, so that's what it looks like graphically. And it's always useful to do it graphically. Um, but let's now look at how we do that using our calculator. So I'll flip to uh, my graphics display calculator. And we are gonna go under the menu button here and we're gonna go down to probability. You can just press the number five for that. I'm going to go to distributions and you can press number five for that as well. Now we've been here for for binomial uh, distributions. Now we're going to use normal distributions. The first option here is a normal probability distribution function, normal PDF. Um, we um, almost always want number two, which is normal CDF, cumulative probability distribution function. So normal CDF, I'm going to press return or you could just press the number two there. Now you can see that by default, it's given us the options for a standard uh, normal distribution. So a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. It's all good, also given us a lower bound of negative infinity. And that's because if we um, have a look at our distribution here, negative infinity is all the way up to here. And almost always we want to write our distributions as going from a particular point backwards. And so we just leave it as negative infinity and then we put in our upper bound, which is two. So I'm pressing the tab key, typing in two. I'm leaving my standard deviation, sorry, my mean is zero and my standard deviation is one. And then I'm tabbing over to here and pressing OK or hitting enter. And it gives us a value of 0 0.977. So I'm writing that down myself now. And then I'll go back to the screen so you can see it. So there it is there, 0.977. And if I flick over to the answer, you can see the answer is 0.9772. They've gone to four decimal places. Okay, with a diagram. The next thing we're going to look at is B, which is a probability of that Z is less than 2.5. Basically the same as we did before. So we go menu, probability, distributions, normal CDF. We leave the lower bound as negative infinity and we used to put an upper bound of 2.5. Okay. And we get 0.99379, blah, 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 blah. So the answer for this one is 0 0.99379. There we go. I've done a couple more decimal places. And if I go to my answer, we can see here that the answer is 0 0.9938. So that's the same as my answer. Okay, so part C is what is the probability of Z less than or equal to 2.5? Well, these two are almost identical, right? That this one says less than, this one says less than or equal to. Now, it's important for you to know um, that in a normal distribution of a continuous variable, as opposed to a discrete variable, these two things are in fact identical. Okay, so the probability that of Z being less than or equal to 
so 2.5 is also 0.99379. Okay, so we would use exactly the same calculator operations. P.S. I should have drawn my little drawing here. Like so. And again, we use negative infinity because this goes on forever in this direction here. It goes on forever. So we just say negative infinity. It sort of approaches, it approaches the line without ever touching it kind of thing like a, a horizontal asymptote. Okay, part, oh, we can see the answer to that in case you don't believe me. The answer there, as you can see, is 0 0.9938, the same answer as this one here. The last one I'll do for this video is E, which is what is the probability of Z greater than or equal to 2? Now, although technically you could go to your calculator and figure that out using an upper bound of infinity, and I might show you that as a bit of a bonus at the end, normally what we would do is we would say, well, let's have a look at the probability of z less than 2 or less than or equal to because it doesn't matter remember and we'll subtract that away from 1 to get what the probability of z greater than or equal to 2 is so on my calculator i then will just be going oh i'll show you what else you can do as well you can use your up arrow on your calculator and press the enter key and that will just get that norm cdf happening again so if you've got the same sort of thing happening and all you need to do is change the number you absolutely can do that so i'm going to change that to 2 like so, and that's 0.97, that's the same as that answer there. And so my answer for z greater than or equal to 2 is going to be 1 minus, use my up arrow to get to that value, press enter, and press enter again, and I get 0 0.0226, there we go, 0 0.0226. And if I go back to my calculator here, sorry, to my spreadsheet, uh, to my answers here, and I look at the um, answer for E, you'll see I've got 0.0228. I've got 0.0226, so I didn't quite write that down properly, maybe. Yeah, 0.0228. I accidentally wrote 6 down, but I don't know why. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Now, what you could do, you could do this. It should give you the, the right, the same answer, is go to probability, go to distributions, go to normal CDF. I could technically put a lower bound of 2 in, and an upper bound of, um, of infinity. So that goes in here, select infinity, um, and zero and one, and press OK. And as you can see, it's given me exactly the same answer here. So technically you can do it that way. This is a bit more of a sound way of doing it, but um, you know, you can do it the other way if you would so prefer. You just need to make sure that you're using minus infinity and infinity um, in the appropriate places. Okay, that's it for this video. Next video, I'll have a look at a couple more examples.